Okay, what do I got there? One, two, three. And then let's put one quite a bit different. Let's say there's a 16 in there. Let me say, okay. Can you guys see that all right? 16 looks like it could be an outlier. If I was just going to guess, I'd say, hey, 16 is an outlier. But we got to have kind of like a specific cutoff saying, hey, if it's bigger than this, it's an outlier. Or if it's smaller than this, it's an outlier. So here is the, let's, well, let's go through and do the quartiles first, and then I'll give you the formula. So remember yesterday, we broke it up and found like the quartiles, Q1, the median, and Q3. And then we found that IQR. We're going to do that same thing to do this. So median looks like it's at six, right? Uh, the lower quartile or the first quartile is at three. Remember, we just cut it here and just do the middle of these four. And the upper quartile or the third quartile looks like it's at uh, seven and a half. IQR, do you remember what that is? Uh, I don't know. Natalie, IQR. Uh, do you remember that from yesterday? One and a four and a half. Yeah, 7.5 minus three. Okay, so that's what we did yesterday. The new thing today is just this formula for outliers. It's like this Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. Okay, Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR, or the other end is Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. So there's two ends for outliers. Okay, so this is outlier cutoffs, I'll say. Okay, outlier cutoffs. All right, let's calculate that out. So Q1 was three minus 1.5 times 4.5. Do order of operation. So do your multiplying first. One and a half times four and a half, I think is six and a, uh, no, six and three quarters. I don't even know. Does that sound right? Add on two, I think it's six and three quarters, isn't it? Okay, so that's going to be a negative 3.75. Okay, so make sure you do order of operations. Do this first. That's the main mistake people make on this. Okay, the other end, Q3, was at 7.5 plus 1.5 times 4.5 again. Okay, so just 7.5 plus the 6.75. It's uh, 13, 14, 5, all right. Okay, so what that means, let's just write this right down what that means specifically. Anything smaller than negative 3.75 or anything bigger than... 14.25 is an outlier, I'll say. Okay, I wrote, oops, sorry, I wrote it like that, it's kind of weird. Anything smaller than negative 3.75 or anything bigger than 14.25 is an outlier. Okay, is 16 an outlier? Sure. Do you guys feel like you've seen this before or not? Yeah. You have? Okay. I don't know if you guys did this specifically in pre-algebra or not. Okay, obviously there's no outlier on the low end. There's just nothing lower than 3.75 or negative. There's nothing, no negatives, but there is outlier on the high end because this is bigger than 14.25. Okay. Pretty easy, right? Okay, go back to our data. Um, is it all there? You guys all got your data there? 
um, or at least we got enough there to kind of do some calculating. Let's kind of clean it up just a little bit and then I'll have you guys make your own copy of it. I'm gonna stop this video.